Hey guys, Shane here with eChar.com. Today I have a 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. And I wanna walk you through how to install the Hopkins in-bed fifth wheel gooseneck wiring kit. Putting this in is gonna give you not only a seven pole plug in the bed of the truck, but it's also gonna give you that four pole plug. So it really adds uh, a nice feature if you're pulling a smaller trailer and you need that four pole plug, uh, you have one. Another nice thing about having this in the bed of the truck is when we're pulling that fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer, we're not gonna have to drape our wire over top of our tailgate to plug it into that plug down by our bumper. We can help, or we can maintain everything in the bed of the truck. It's gonna stay nice and clean, nice and neat looking. Our full pole side is gonna give us the normal lighting functions, our running lights, brake lights, and our turn signals. The seven pole side is gonna give us all those features, plus it's gonna give us a reverse light signal, and it's also gonna give us a brake controller signal. Both lids are going to be spring-loaded, so when we're not using them, they're going to stay nice and tight against the framing to help keep any dirt and debris or water from getting on our connections. Both of them are going to have a rubber insert on the inside. It's going to seal right around this edge. Again, it's going to help keep water from running down inside our connections, causing them to corrode. The housing itself is going to be a durable plastic. It's going to hold up really well in all weather conditions. If we look right here on our lids, another nice feature is it. All of our wires are marked. This is going to tell us what all of our wire functions are doing, not only on the four pole side, but also on our seven pole side. Overall, installation process is pretty simple and straightforward. It's going to plug directly into your factory seven pole plug on your bumper. And we're not going to have to do, do any drilling because our hole for this is already here. All we got to do is remove that factory plug and install this, plug our wires together, and we're ready to go. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. To start your installation, you need to locate your factory plug. And we're gonna pop this out. If you cannot get this to pop out, you go down underneath the bed and reach up and push this little tab in on each side, you'll be able to pop it out. Once you get that out, you're gonna take your wiring harness, the end with the two plugs on it, we're gonna feed it through to the bottom of the bed. take this end. We're going to have some terminal grease in our kit. We're going to put that on our connections. This is going to help keep them from corroding if, if any moisture or anything happens to get in there. I'm going to make sure we're getting on all of them. Take our new plug. Plug it into place till it clicks. We're going to take our plug. I'm going to slide it right into place into the factory opening. Just like that. Now we can go down underneath and connect it to our factory wiring. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two ends and I need to get them over to this plug here. What I think I'm going to try to do is go over the top of my spare tire uh, frame here and come right off this end. I don't know what components are right up top there, but we're gonna see what we can do. That way it stays up and out of the way. There's a little black tab, why don't you slide that? We're gonna push down on it and slide the plug out. We're gonna take some terminal grease. We're going to put it on this plug also before we put them back together. Now we're going to take this end. We're going to plug it in to our factory plug on our bumper. This one. We're going to plug into the other end of our wiring. There. Make sure you push the Gray tab down, it's going to help lock it in place. Then we can take the rest of our wiring, we'll get it all bundled up, and we'll zip tie it up here to this factory wiring. Once we get our wire bundled up, we can go ahead and reinstall our spare tire. Now we're going to test our wiring to make sure everything's working correctly. Left turn, right turn, brake lights, running lights, 
brake controller. Reverse. Once you've tested everything out, you know it's working correctly, you're ready to go. It's gonna do it for a look at and installation on the Hopkins in-bed wiring kit for goosenecks and fifth wheel trailers on our 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 2500.